Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm just going to be spinning a little bit of flax on the, motor, on the Phoenix motor spinner. So, we tried to do this during the live stream, which totally worked, but you guys didn't really see that well. So, we're going to try this again with a non potato vision. real time with all my mistakes like over twisting it because flax is not an easy thing to spin and I figured showing you a little bit of how a new spinner like me will struggle sometimes with new fiber Sometimes I've noticed like it take up is really soft, so you might want to use the heavier take up pulley for spinning flax, especially a larger gauge flax. I'm having a bit of problem spinning just about any size, but I'm trying to get not over twisted on. A single that's probably somewhere between a millimeter across to maybe three millimeters Flax is quite a challenge, but let me tell you, it's so strong that it's really worth getting a feel for. Especially as a weaver, I feel like if this, if I made even a single, even a really fine spun single with it, it would not stretch hardly at all and it would be so strong it would cut you because yeah don't mess with linen it will cut you again. it'll cut through plastic I guess that's why some motor spinners wouldn't well anything any spinner with plastic, really, I would attempt. The Phoenix is made of a high-speed steel shaft and orifice 
hardwood maple for all of the wood. And the hooks are made out of spring tempered steel. So this will have absolutely no problem. Just eating up flax. As you can see, I'm not having too terrible of a time with. So, do a bit more. Just to show that it's possible. Not that I'm doing great. But that. Just a short demonstra demonstration that just a little bit of practice like me, even a new spinner, can really get a hold of something that's difficult like flax. And also one other tip. Oh, it's probably bound. And that's the more that I've spun with flax, and the more that I've really practiced with it, you go back to something that you're more practiced with, like for me that's wool. And it just feels so easy. It just lets you kind of develop your skill and touch, not just for, for one fiber, but for almost all fibers. You can kind of It's just your spidey senses are better at anticipating what's going to happen when you draft or you pull or you need to get closer here. I'm getting too much twist. I got a big old rat's nest in there. Great job. You know. Let's see if I can draft that out. Yeah, see, there's the. Uh, did I pinch it? Did I pinch it too much? Oh, I made it! Made it! And as you can see, this is not going to be competition quality yarn, but, you know, when you're first practicing and first getting your legs, I mean, kind of devote a couple ounces, you know, maybe a bobbin full, of just kind of learning with it, and, you know, maybe do a fun knitting project with, you know, some slumpy yarns. Knitting with slumpy yarns also can be a good practice for knitting. So, there's real-time spinning linen with the Phoenix Motor Spinner. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep on treadling.